everyone, it's lovely to be with you. Welcome to Tuesday Night Worship at Home with Ellen Parish Church. I'm Nicola, um, and uh, it's super to be with you. Um, we're going to read, we're going to sing, we're going to pray tonight, just as usual. Um, last week, we thought a little bit about um, um, about yoke and about saved, um, about uh, when Jesus... Um, said come to you all who are uh, weary and heavy laden I'll give you rest and take my yoke upon you um, that it was about um, take his way of life upon him come and live with him um, that it was uh, a phrase that was used to talk about discipleship about apprenticeship um, about uh, just learning on the go and um, that the life that he has is not about being a heavy burden but about um, kind of relieving us into a, a life of love um, and also about uh, this idea of um, saved uh, the, 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 the Greek word is the same as healed so we've kind of gone from yoke that I want to um, lean into the idea of our salvation being our healing tonight um, so we're going to um, have a little think about that. Uh, when I was growing up, uh, sometimes church was seemed a bit about fear, um, that you needed to get to know Jesus so you didn't, um, so you didn't burn in hell, <laughs> um, which uh, fear can be quite the motivator, but um, love is a much more positive motivator. Um, and so, uh, wherever you are tonight, if you're someone who um, has believed in God all your days, or someone who is just finding out a little bit about about what this is all about, um, of what it is to be a friend of Jesus, um, then can I encourage you that when it talks about being saved, um, it's about being healed. It's about um, it's about our life now as well as forever. Um, and about um, a healing of our relationship with God and with those around us um, and the world, about bringing the whole, the whole of creation back into a place of love. Um, so I want to read tonight from 1 John. It's a, a short letter in, um, right near the end of the Bible. And it says this in 1 John and chapter 4, um, verse 16. And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in him. In this way, love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment because in this world, we are like him. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. We love because he first loved us. So let's pray together. God who is love, we thank you that you don't call us into a life of fear but um, to one of love. Thank you that you drive out fear. That we are not called to fear you, but to love you. And with that, with that love comes respect, comes trust, and comes a beautiful relationship in which we learn more about ourselves and, uh, and how to live in an amazing way. Father, thank you for the, the creation around us and the people that you have placed around us, Lord. Help us to, to see all around us with love to look in the mirror and see with love, to 
look around our lives and see with love so that we can see what needs changed, what needs challenged, what needs to grow and what needs nurtured, what needs appreciated and what needs your healing, Lord. As we face our days, thank you that you, God of love, God that is love, that you are with us, that you stand with us. Thank you that as we accept you, we get to stand with you and all who call on you, that we get to be part of a big family, so much bigger than ourselves, a part of something so much greater than ourselves. Thank you, Lord, that a life with you is inspiring. It is challenging and it is full of love. And though it still has many hardships, that we are not alone as we face them. Thank you that your love brings us healing, brings us forgiveness, and brings us wholeness, Lord. And so as we draw close to you tonight, we pray that we each would experience something of your love, your hope, and your presence with us, Lord. In Jesus' name.
into your promises this week that you are our salvation our healing that the way you have for us is not to pile burden upon us but to release us into a life of love and wholeness and that you will be forever our God and we forever your children. Amen. Thanks for coming. Um, it's been lovely to join together tonight um, and just spend a bit of time with God. I hope this has been a, a healing and restoring time for you. 
uh, we carry this forward this week um, with our usual things. Tomorrow we've got Peter with his Bible Ponder. Um, and uh, Star Squad Wednesday in person, always a joy. Um, and then we've got Carbor Cafe on Friday morning after Friday prayers at some ridiculous time in the morning with Ali on Facebook. Um, and then I think that's us around till Sunday um, to the service on Sunday, half past ten. Um, uh, there is booking and hospitality's back. Woohoo! Oh, sorry, I'm excited about the coffee. Um, so we'll look forward to seeing you there. And then um, Monday prayers. Um, which Peter's doing something a bit different with for the next wee while, so looking forward to that. Um, and then we're back round to being together here again next Tuesday night. So until then, may the Lord bless each one of us. Bye for now.